Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I'm Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to troll the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies of those of the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, and really, anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offerings, content for the blood god, along with the show. Tonight I have for you Never Hike Alone, a Friday the 13th fan film by um, Womp Stomp Films. So go on over there, give them some love, and uh, let's uh, let's get on with the show, everyone. Uh, this is going to be good. Um, for the footsteps. It's late and I didn't think I was going to be here. Check. Check one, two. Hey, everyone. Kyle McLeod here, checking in on another glorious backcountry adventure. This week, we're going to be venturing through the Wessex County National Forest. It's home to one of the most diverse ecosystems in the Catskills. Now, we're going to make about a... probably about a 45-mile loop up and around the lake and hopefully find ourselves back here at base camp in just a few days. Huh. I should mention, this hike is not for the weary, so I recommend only intermediate to advanced levels tackle this route. So let me catch any noobs out here. That's right. Looking at you, Hiker Man 5000. Anyways, according to my guidebook, we got about an eight hours trek to our first rendezvous spot at South Lake Summit. And sunset is, oh, sunset's in roughly seven hours from now. So I gotta get a move on. That's gonna be all for now, guys. I'll see you at the top. Kyle out.
spectacular fucking sight, right? Eighteen miles, forty thousand steps in a two hundred seventy six story climb later. And here we are, South Point Summit. Whew. And I think right over the ridge right there is where the lake is. All right. That's gonna be all for now. Catch up to you guys later tonight. Kyle out. Hey, what's up, Trail Junkies? This week, I want to show you a pretty handy tool that is essential to your gear list. It is a three-piece collapsible shovel by... Uh, so, like, th this guy is, uh, uh, like, uh, I mean, maybe he's never heard of, like, fuck. Crystal Lake, or maybe he has, or maybe, I don't know. This is interesting. <sighs> three-piece collapsible shovel by Lana Industries. Easy to assemble, amazingly strong. Multi-purpose. Really? This thing? Seems like a piece of shit to me. Fucking <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Landon in the trees. Easy to assemble. Easy to be strong. <sighs> Here we go. Let's sell this fucker. Hey, what's up, trail junkies? This week... Fuck me! I mean, that would be kind of creepy. I mean, Lots of wild animals. animals were always a... Uh, Six, maybe eight. I think they're hunting something. This thing up tomorrow. Hmm. Wonder if he's gonna find anything when he wakes up, uh, when he gets out, or like along the way <coughs> <coughs> from the uh, coyotes. Hey, what's up, guys? So it's day two and a beautiful one at that. Something pretty interesting happened this morning. I found an old trail marker on the other side of the creek. And it's not marked in the guidebook, but I think it's just more of a reason to check it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, and hopefully, if all goes accordingly, we'll find ourselves on the south side of the lake. So today's mission will be find the lake. <sighs> you know, the train's not looking too friendly, but I'm just gonna have to make my way. Nothing's stopping me. Hmm. All right, well, that's all for now. See you guys in a little bit. Kyle out. I mean, it's even more dangerous being out there by yourself.
What's it say? What's on the hey, side? Hey, oh. check it out. <laughs> All right. So, according to my guidebook, the land beyond this was donated to a wild preserve decades ago. And it doesn't say why, but whatever the reason, they must not want people on this side of the lake. Wish I wouldn't have known that before I walked all the way out here. Oh my god. The problem is if I turn back now, it's gonna take me all day just to get back to where I was. Or Oh that's I wouldn't suggest this, but I could probably cut through and catch back up to one of the trails on the other side of the lake. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good instincts, bro. Oh, shit. I wonder if he realized the thing that I I'll wait until later. Because if 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 they if you take the super if you take the supernatural out of it, a uh, dude can be definitely be killed, and uh, somebody with a weapon is not an ideal situation to like be right up on, I guess. He is super fast though. Gotta feel like somebody's watching him or something. We are the southernmost point of the lake. I wonder if he uh, he might catch footage of uh, Jason. All I have to do is catch up one of the trails uh, on the other side of the video. cove and follow all the way back. Uh, sundown is uh, probably in a couple hours, so I need to find a place to settle up for the night. Not safe traveling out here, especially after dusk. Whew. All right, I guess it's all for now. Catch up with you guys in a bit. Pow out. You guys are not going to believe this. This place is way more than a nature preserve. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. It's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, check this out. Oh. Such a fanboy.
<laughs> in a game, this would have some lore in it, or like you know, or maybe not. It'd just be funny stuff like this. <laughs> oh, he's he's standing right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. I'm surprised you didn't see like uh, grizzly stuff before. Looks like a camp long abandoned. Looks like any place long abandoned. This is really cool. That is a nice little sight. That uh, tools ended up, uh, ended up being uh, fairly useful, huh? He used to tell me stories about this place. Supposedly one summer, forever ago, a kid by the name of Jason Voorhees drowned in that lake. The cops searched for days, but his body was never discovered. The kid's mom, who was also the camp's cook, blamed the counselors for her son's death. And one night she went crazy, killing almost everyone before getting her own head chopped off by the only survivor. My brother also said that Jason, who was still in the lake, witnessed his mother's death and returned from the grave to seek out her revenge on anyone who entered the camp. <laughs> or some shit like that. I don't really know. It's stupid, but man, that story used to scare the shit out of me. But, you know, now that I'm here and I get to see this place in person, 
kind of feel sorry for it. I mean, aside from your lonesome trespassing hiker, no one gets to experience this place again. That sucks. All because of some stupid ghost story. Why well, I'm afraid of no ghost. Shit, it's not the ghost you gotta be afraid of, brother. Well, the night's still young, and there's still a couple more places I wanna check out, so. You guys care to join me? Okay. So the Pamela Voorhees murders happened back in the early 1980s, which means we might be the first people to check out this camp in over 30 years. That's pretty cool, right? Let's see what's in here. I forgot to mention, I've been seeing a lot of these red ribbons around the camp. I think it's a way to mark the crime scenes. Yep. So if behind the store, viewers beware. It might not be safe for life. I like the ambiance uh, of uh, everything. It's, and it, wow. This has got to be the kitchen. This must be where Pamela served food to all the kids. I thought my lunch lady was scary. I'm, I wonder if you ever find, might find like a random, like, stashed away head in here. scared out of his mind, but a door to nowhere. You don't see these every day. Back in the day, they used to use these to lift heavy shit on the second floor. Nowadays, it just looks like an easy way to break your neck if you don't watch your step. Yep. This is like a new beginning, I believe, right? <sighs> During the rainstorm. And it was, uh, it was an imposter. Who else is in here? You're dead. This makes me anxious and nervous. Oh, shit. I 
think someone was living here. A birthday prayer for you. If there's any joy that you wish for, God grant it may gladden your way. If there's any blessing you long for, may that be your gift for today. If there's any help you're needing for betterment, comfort, or cheer, God grant it be sent on your birthday to stay with you year after year. That's deep. <clears throat> what is that? Your death. Oh, shit. Hi, Jason. How you doing, buddy? I have no idea why you're trying to... Yeah, why, bro? Why? Yep. Cool. The steps even feel super heavy. God damn. You got some agility, brother, some skills, and some speed. Get up, brother. Oh, come on. Get, get up and run. I mean, he can't let you leave. Like, he can't let you live. Someone knows that you're still alive.
<laughs> he looks so miffed. <laughs> I mean, he can just wait you out. Temporarily. I have a pretty severe laceration on my leg. That if I don't treat it soon, it's gonna get infected. Fuck. All my gear is back at the camp. Without it, I don't think I'm gonna last through the night. If I can get to my supplies, there's still a chance I can stay alive. I just need to close up this wound. Make it back to one of the trails on the other side of the cove. If someone finds this, can you just give it to my parents if I tell them something? I mean, it would be cool if he could get away, but I, you know, this is a Friday the 13th movie, but it, so it's not, his chances of survival don't look good, but he is the most capable, I think, uh, of Jason's intended victims. Not bad, bro, not bad. It would suck if you got right back up and fucking got hatcheted in the head.
Oh shit. I skate up here. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Why do you always want to fucking square up, man? Tonight, Jason. Definitely like a video game, sort of, you know, getting some bandages to fucking heal your wounds, getting weapons for your best survival. Oh shit. side. Well? Oh, shit. Nice! Yeah, maybe you don't pull that out until you... Uh... Carry the guidebook. I mean, you probably still got fucking like, uh, like some damage there, buddy. But, um, yeah, that's much better. Oh, that's still a nasty one. You better get up and go. Yeah, don't wait. Get up and go.
Run, boy, run! Fuck this. Yeah, absolutely. There was a couple of times you could have fucking said that shit. Nice. Hey there. Don't worry. You're okay. Everything's gonna be okay now. You're in good hands. Right, Axel? Axel? Huh? Oh, hey. Welcome back, brother. Hey, didn't anyone ever tell you you should never hike alone? Oh, god damn. Look at the beard on that vagina. Woo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Try not to move, okay? Your body's been through enough already. Let us take it from here. Can you tell us what happened out there? What's the last thing you remember? Oh, well. Do you need your hand for the gas? Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! A little help here! Huh? Oh, <laughs> hey, buddy! Another dream too, or, or Jason? What the fuck is going on? Are you sure? Didn't sound like it a second ago. Yeah, I'm fine. Axel? Shit, Axel. Oh, shit, man. This is a mess. Yeah, I'm gonna need a minute to clean this up, Tommy. I'd say maybe five tops. All right, make it quick. We got a long ride ahead of us. I don't want to be out here any longer than we have to be, okay? someone else in the forest. Are you sure? It was something the patient said when he was awake. I don't think he was out there alone. The guy didn't sound all there from where I was sitting. Yeah, I know, but... I've never seen anyone that scared before. All right, well, we should follow protocol and call it in, right? Yeah. Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, don't mention it. Thank you. 
Rescue 26 to dispatch. Requesting correspondence, do you copy? Rescue 26 to dispatch, do you copy? No, Over. this isn't going to end well. Hey, dispatch. Uh, we're heading back to County Medical, but we may have another lost hiker out here on Cunningham Road. Do you copy? Copy that, 26. Do you have a description of the individual? Over. Uh, that's a negative on the description of the individual. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. I know. Get that, could you please repeat? 26, are you there? Tommy? Let go of me, you ugly son of a bitch! Axel, something's uh, happening to Tommy. What the hell? That was fucking awesome. and share show this to your friends really and go go and uh, show Womp Stomp Films some love they've got other things and I think they have even a second part to this which I'm gonna see so um, yeah um, I'll see you there guys um, be safe happy and healthy I love you all